Hey everybody, this is Will, aka Dr. Financial Literacy. Hope you all are having a great day today. Um, so this is day five, and we are continuing to chug along in terms of looking at if you are operating off of a bi-weekly <clears throat> paycheck, then uh, this is how velocity banking can work. Um, I'm using the velocity banking and about my bi-weekly paycheck in order to show you the possibility and the potential. So um, we're here on day five, velocity banking, uh, bi-weekly uh, paycheck of $1,696.93. Um, that's my first bi-weekly paycheck for the month of March. Um, as we indicated um, earlier, uh, I started off March with about <clears throat> $190.00. So we'll come back to that. Um, I'm looking at reducing the debt on one of my credit cards at $5,446. And rather than putting the entire $1,695 on the check, which some velocity banking advocates indicate, still trying to take it easy and um, moving into a slow, moving into with my clients slow and only putting $1,600 and keeping 96.93 as cash um, on the side, just just in case. So um, when I get that bi-weekly paycheck and I drop that 1600 in, it's going to bring down the balance to 3,846. Now the credit cards operate on the average daily balance. So each day that you're able to reduce your your balance on the overall card you're able to reduce your average daily balance, which calculates interest at the end of the cycle, whether it's 30 days, 31 days, or how many days in that particular month, and then multiply the percentage to get you an average daily rate in terms of, I mean, average daily dollar. So by jumping my paycheck in, I've reduced the average daily balance um, Today is the, the 5th, so when it comes in on the 6th, then that means it would have calculated the average daily balance of 54.46 for March the 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, and 6th, and 7th. Now, once I drop this 38.46 in when I receive my direct deposit, then it will start calculating on this amount, $3,846, until I start adding back um, some, some of the expenses. Now, I still have $190 left or had $190.55 left coming out of February 2024. And in March, I went ahead and paid the utilities. That was 133. The electric is not included in here. And that brought it down to 57, 55. Paid all those on the credit cards as the advocates talk about, the um, velocity banking advocates talk about. Um, next, uh, I had to pay to get some gas early on in the month. So I put $30 worth of gas in the tank. I'm back to driving the Nissan Ultra which is a little bit more on the gas than the um, Kia Forte that I have. So that brought me down to $27.55. Um, today, I went to Dollar Tree, picked up a couple of items that I probably should not have, really didn't need them. Um, and that brought me down to a balance of $21.30. Also in this um, $6.25, I was charged a 10 cent bag in California because they charge you for a plastic <clears throat> I think at most grocery stores and I told the cashier I didn't need a bag I had a box um, and I really didn't pay attention to the receipt as much as I should have when I um, went back um, out of the uh, store and then I saw the 10 cent um, charge so I got to be very careful in looking at my receipt and making sure when I tell the cashier I do not need a bag don't charge me an extra 10 cent for the bag. So as of now, on the 5th, I have 21.30 to carry me over to the 8th 
um, with my bi-weekly paycheck. All right. Um, so really wanted to just talk to you about that. Um, Velocity Banking, for many of you who um, are maybe new uh, to the channel, is a strategy whereby you generally use a line of credit to reduce debt. Um, one of the things that the advocates point out if you don't have a line of credit, you can use a credit card, but you got to clean that credit card up and bring down the balance. So that's what I've been working on since December of 2024. Um, I initially tried to get a home equity line of credit, but because of the business side and the debt was, that I'm carrying, um, I couldn't get the home e equity line of credit. I could not get the um, all-in-one mortgage, which you can use to kind of um, supplement or supplant your mortgage still working on those opportunities, but I have been working on the credit card situation, situations and Velocity Banking has worked out well for me. I really like what it has done by simply making this one payment into the credit card. And the monthly payment on this 5446 uh, is 170, 173. One one seventy three, and I hope you can see that. Um, if I can make it darker, the monthly payment on this card is one seventy three. Now, a, another principle of the velocity banking is that. When you put your paycheck into what they call or some call a debt instrument or on a credit card, it automatically wipes off that payment for the month. So we'll see how that happens throughout the month. If I need to make that payment or how it becomes a part of my cash flow. Um, and that's what they indicate. When you put your paycheck in or anything, resources, income into it, it knocks out that monthly payment for that particular card so looking to see um when i get paid just go ahead and make that payment and then by the end of the month if i need to make another payment or it fundamentally worked and created 173 dollars cash flow by simply not putting my money in the bank but by putting it to more to work for me uh, again it, the money uh, used to flow from a little picture here. It used to flow from getting it, going into a bank, and then bills. But now what I do is get my check from direct deposit as Velocity Banking Advocates from the bank. and onto a credit card to bring down your debt. And for this instance, it'll be this 4446. Um, so um, thank you very much for stopping by. I really encourage you to please explore more of this term, Velocity Banking. Uh, just Google it, watch a couple of um, videos, see how it can work for you. Um, it has definitely worked well for me in terms of just a simple putting my check onto one of the credit cards, bringing down that average daily balance for a couple of days until I had to put more um, bills on here. Now, this is just my utilities and two daily things that I've been dealing with, but I still need to put in my monthly bills, those that are on my credit report. Um, will flow through this and those that I use um, monthly, like my automobile payment, um, groceries, eating out, will still come out of this. So still have a long ways to go for the end of the month before I start um, putting more bills back onto it. But at least for a short time or how many days that I can maintain it, I will put it here. Um, also, um, I'm in, uh, as I mentioned able, it before, I'm using the credit cards to pay the rent and pay my additional mortgages 
uh, in general. So yeah, that, that seems to be working out well without necessarily using a third party. It doesn't work with all institutions, um, but at least two of the major banks that I work with, I'm able to have overdraft protection and have a small amount in the car, I mean, on the checking account. So when a bill comes in and there's not enough to cover the checking account, it automatically pulls from the credit card that I have linked as the overdraft protection. All right, so that's in the earlier video and I'll continue to talk about that. Uh, thank you very much for um, stopping by and please um, check out Velocity Banking and what it can do for you. Um, hit the like button. If you have any questions, give me a call, text, or um, shoot me an email. Be more than happy to talk to you. Have a great day, everyone.